auto structure is scalable in HDS project. Uh, this topic is crucial because the structure helps you wrap grow without turning into a mess as future are added continuously. Now we will use the the next project that we created in the previous tutorial. There are not anything added here, so that's okay. And we'll start by creating a modules folder under, under the SRC1. In this folder, we will group uh, features like users, outs, and products. Uh, just for example, you can do whatever you but whatever you need, out for authentication and products. And here each folder will contain its own controller, service, entities, etc. Like here we see in, in the main one. And now let's generate these files for 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 example the the users from, 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 from the users folder you can type nsg for generate we generate the module we will provide where we need to generate it under the users folder Yeah, it is created. Also, app module was was updated, so now you can see the, the users module was automatically imported. Okay, let's continue yes, G with the controller. Again, same folder. And we need the service. NSG service. Okay, awesome. After you're done, you will have these files here. And now let's uh, add. Uh, details and entities. Uh, the DTO is data transfer ob object and entities for database models or types. So in our case here we can create a DTO folder and we we'll, for example create user DTO yes. And we need to create the entity folder. And we have a file user.entity.js. And like this, we will keeping the files organized and easier to maintain. Uh, these errors here you can uh, fix by adjusting the end of the sequence for your VS, for your VS code. In my case, it works this way. And about the non-future items, we need to keep them on, on top level for folders. Okay, we'll close this one. We'll create one common folder which could be for uh, global pipes, guard, in, 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 in interceptors, a config folder, which will be for environment config files and variables, config. Another folder could be middleware, which is for custom middlewares. Okay, uh, another folder would be utils. 
in the use for folder we can store uh, shared helpers or or uh, constants that can be used across the application across the application and after you have uh, after you have such folders you can uh, you can say that your application is ready for scale and maintainability and that's all now you know